I'm Patrick Allen Politico. It is now time to turn the table with Fareed Zakaria with CNN's GPS. Uh, Fareed, we obviously heard a lot this week about the government shutdown in terms of domestic politics, but I want to get your take on sort of how it's been perceived around the world. Uh, we obviously avoided uh, a major catastrophe, but obviously I think the world and America saw just how dysfunctional Washington has become. Did this, even though we uh, averted a, uh, a, a true catastrophe, did it affect the United States' reputation abroad? I think it did. I think it's important to understand uh, why this is so, so crucial. We sell our debt uh, at virtually nothing. In other words, we, we borrow lots of money from the world and we give people who, who lend us money essentially no interest. Uh, there is a, a negative real rate. In other words, they're paying us for the privilege of lending us money. So in that context, what are they getting? The one thing they're getting is surety of repayment. Right? This is the whole point of the Treasury bills is that, that they're meant to be absolutely safe. What we did was introduce an element of uncertainty, maybe not a large element. You know, a lot of people say, well, the market sort of knew at the end of the day this would sort itself out. But clearly there was some element of uncertainty. And I think that's a very dangerous thing because at the, at the bedrock of the global financial system and of American financial power around the world is the fact that we will pay these things back 100% no exceptions, no doubt. And I think we muddied that, uh, that water, which was very unfortunate. And do we see, I mean, obviously this was, you know, to, to a large degree about fiscal issues, but when, when people around the world see how we reacted on this particular issue, does that have fallout on other issues? In other words, when they see how Washington deals with its fiscal uh, house, does that also make them think that they're gonna be similarly dysfunctional when it comes to other issues, be it from education uh, and to other domestic issues to international issues? Does it make them think that they're gonna get the same kind of chaos on other issues that might affect uh, more international uh, type of topics? I don't think so in general, though probably it does suggest that President Obama will not be able to get congressional approval for, for example, a strike against Syria or something like that. But people do recognize that the president has enormous latitude in foreign policy. The one area where it will play a role, and it already has played a role, you can see that in some of the rhetoric, you know, all those people who are against democratization, reform, liberalization in countries like Russia, China, Africa, they're all delighting in this because they see this as an example of why American democracy is not all that it's cracked up to be, why it has severe problems, why a country like China would be chaotic if it were to adopt uh, some kind of reform project or democracy project. So for those enemies of reform, this has been a great couple of weeks. Well, and tell me, you know, amongst sort of established democracies around the world, uh, is the United States unique? And, you know, the, the, the president talks a lot about how we're governing by crisis. Is the United States unique in that? Or, in fact, this is sort of how democracy gets done around the world in a lot of places? No, we're pretty much unique. Look, we have an 18th century constitution that in, was an incredible act of genius uh, at the time. Uh, but it is obsessed with the dangers of untrammeled power. Uh, it is obsessed with the idea of a George III-like figure uh, becoming a kind of tyrant. And so there are many, many che checks and balances, many opportunities for veto, many opportunities for paralysis and gridlock. Uh, and then those have been multiplied, put aside what the founders intended, by things like the filibuster or this debt ceiling, which are, as you know, completely extra-constitutional, by which, which I mean not in the Constitution. So what we've created is a system that has so many opportunities for deadlock paralysis and breakdown uh, that I think it's not a particularly good model uh, for the rest of the world. I mean, in the, in the broadest outlines and in historical terms, America, the American Constitution is an act of genius. But there are problems, uh, I think, that uh, we need to face up to. It has become very difficult to, mod to govern a modern nation uh, if you have so many potentials for blockage. All right, Free. tell us about what we can expect to see on your program this weekend. We have Jim Baker on, who's you know, arguably the most effective Republican political operator of the last 30, 40 years. He was chief of staff for Ronald Reagan, then Treasury Secretary, then Secretary of State for George H.W. Bush, ran his presidential campaign. Well, we ask him what he thinks the Republican Party to, should do. All right. Thank you very much, Fareed Zakaria. You can check out GPS with Fareed Zakaria Sundays on CNN. Thanks a lot for joining us. Pleasure.